essentially divided the 17th parallel. Okay. And this is the first time I used the term domino theory. If one falls, the next will fall. Diem takes over South Vietnam with U.S. help. Between 1954 and 61, the U.S. gives Diem and his, his people technically $1 billion, 80% of which goes to military spending in a country with starvation level poverty. Diem rules as a massive dictator, um, cancels the elections in 1956, postpones them until 57, cancels them in 57. So the Viet Cong create a, or so the Viet Minh create a second group called the National Liberation Front, the NLF. Just to make this really confusing. Okay. Now the NLF are more commonly called what? Not up there. I mean, it's all over. This was not up there. Viet Cong. Viet Cong. The Viet Cong is also called Victor Charlie. Charlie, VC, and a few other terms. It's all the same group. Now, they are created pretty specifically to get rid of DM. And they start assassinating government officials. Now, this is somewhat amazing. In one year alone, they kill 2,000 government officials. By the way, a country roughly the size of New Jersey. I assume they kill people, and then when they get replacements, they kill them. That would be a fun job to have. So... John Kennedy sends in 16,000 military advisors. That's the U.S. military advisors. Today. Technically, these are not soldiers. They just look like soldiers, talk like soldiers. and yeah. They're there to train the South Vietnamese Army. 16,000. Okay. So the first U.S. troops that really go in, go in under Kennedy. He also, at this point, starts pressuring Diem to reform. And Diem does some little things, but, you know, he doesn't completely stop. Okay, this is worth getting. Um, go get the red books. The picture you have to see. Find me the picture of the monk. Oh, the one who lit himself on fire? Oh, yeah. about to execute the North Vietnamese prisoner who got his head. Yeah. That picture, what you see there, that's a Buddhist monk. He did that to himself. Uh, insane level of self-control. Basically, he sits there and, and burns alive. They did it to bring attention of the world to what was going on in South Vietnam, that the abuses that were happening. And that, that picture got more attention than everything that had been happening for years combined. Obviously, that's the ultimate self-sacrifice, but that is that famous picture there. I would like to make sure I'm sure someone was there. Well, they, you can see the, yeah, you can see the surrounding. Uh, now, at this point, Diem is assassinated. Many people believe the U.S. might have intentionally left the back door open and maybe told the Viet Cong where the key was in case. Uh, we were sick of it at that point. Three weeks later, JFK is assassinated. You want to throw one more conspiracy theory in there, you can you know, have that be the next conspiracy theory. So, JFK is assassinated. Who takes over? Johnson. LBJ. We are officially to number two there. LBJ's war. Now, understand, when Kennedy dies, there's a massive amount of pressure around the country to continue what he was doing. He's viewed as this demigod. And there was a general belief that Kennedy wanted Vietnam. He sent the original advisors in. The truth is, we don't really know what Kennedy wanted. We know what his advisors wanted. His advisors want Vietnam. They believe desperately that if we pull out, the whole country, the whole world will go communist. So LBJ inherits his advisors. 
the military advisor say, you've got to go forward. So LBJ goes forward, even though he personally has very mixed feelings about this. Okay. The Gulf of Tonkin Resolution. It's up there. This is uh, 1965. Yeah, here we go. August 64. Naval skirmish prompts Congress to pass resolution letting U.S. troops fight in Vietnam. They have footage. A U.S. troop ship has been hit by North Vietnamese missiles. Sailors are dead. LBJ goes to Congress and says, I need the ability and the money to protect our men in Vietnam. Now, the vote in favor of that was 504 in favor, two opposed. <laughs> now, we've been through this scenario sometimes before. Spot resolution in Mexico. Remember the main. Uh, Mike sitting in Concord. <laughs> there have been multiple times where we may have fired the first shot, we may not have. Pearl Harbor was pretty clear we're the victim, right? We're clearly the victim here, correct? Except we're not. What was did not told, it was not found out for about seven or eight years by the public, is that uh, we were kind of attacking them when they hit us. So it's the equivalent of, you know, if Jaden cuts my arm with those vicious non-fingernails there. Okay, look, she attacked me, I'm bleeding. Now, but that's all the story you see, and look, I'm holding my arm, I have the blood. If we don't see me, see me strangling her, and her desperately trying to get my hand off, that changes the story. You know, the world just saw our bloody arm. They didn't see the fact that we were strangling them. That we were actually helping the South Vietnamese attack the North Vietnamese when it happened. But at this point, it's moving forward. So, he gets his go ahead and go for Tonkin resolution. He asks Congress for a blank check to stop aggression versus the United States and gets it. Years later, the public finds out two ships were helping South Vietnamese attack. Okay, February of 1965, eight U.S. soldiers are killed in a place called Plai Ku in South Vietnam. These are the first regular troops killed in Vietnam. LBJ orders to respond by basically saying, blow up everything. Now, this original bombing raid is called Operation Rolling Thunder. It goes after bases, roads, railways in North Vietnam. It also adds one major addition. What other thing does he start blowing up? No. The Ho Chi Minh Trail. Now, if you look at the big maps up here, you see it up above them. Here. This is a supply trail for the Viet Minh and the Viet Cong. You will notice the key to this that a lot of this is in what country? Not Vietnam. Not Vietnam. Laos and Cambodia. So when we start bombing the trail, are we actually tend to be bombing foreign countries? Because yeah. we're not at war with them, we're tend to be at war with them either, because they've never declaration of war. This is very heavily jungle area. There's so much coverage that we can't see these, these trails from the air. So what is our response be? What what do we do to try to solve that problem? Is that Agent Orange? Agent Orange comes in. What does Agent Orange do? It kill the, the it kills everything. It's a it kills green. It kills the trees, it kills the, the overhang. So it basically makes it so we can see everything. Now, as we find out later, we're dropping cancer on people. That's, uh, that's one of the big things. This is where Agent Orange comes in. Now, the first regular Marines, first two battalions of regular Marines, landed in Da Nang, March of 1965. By the end of 65, there were 180,000 U.S. troops in Vietnam. By the end of 66, there were 370,000 troops. By the end of 67, there are more than 500,000, slightly more than in the height of Korea. We will meet our, meet our peak strength, 68, 69, and then start coming back down. Okay, 
So we are now clearly fully committed to fighting the war. U.S. reports coming back to the United States report huge casualty numbers for the, for the communists. The image that we're winning the war. In 1967 alone, we have 108,000 bombing raids. It's 2,000 a week. By 1967, the U.S. has dropped more tons on Vietnam than the Allies had total in World War II. We're obliterating them. Wiping them off the face of the earth. The Viet Cong makes an interesting decision. They go underground. Now, this is somewhere around 890. Oh, well, I don't know where it's here, but say that in the book. Look through those pages. Find me the tunnels picture. Let me tell me where the tunnels picture is. Look at it. It's pretty fascinating. Take a look and really look at it. Are those legit? Like, like they would. 944. Now understand, they have 30,000 miles of those tunnels. If you don't understand what 30,000 miles is, Atlanta to LA and back six times. Wait, how did they build them? Like, they just dig in there? hand. But how did they make the support for enough fall on them? Like they're, they're very good at it. Yeah, because yeah, if you've ever tried to dig a hole, they always collapse on themselves. That's a very low tech way, but incredibly efficient. There's so many bombs they have to get deep, and you see the one of the worst jobs in Vietnam for a U.S. soldier was called a uh, tunnel rat, where basically they crawl in their stomach with a flashlight in one hand and a pistol in the other. Like Forrest Gump. And you don't know when you're going to the tunnel. You see they've got you know, poisonous snakes, they've got booby traps. But there was, uh, if you've ever seen uh, We Were Soldiers, the, the, of the first major battle of Vietnam, there's a scene where the Viet Cong are meeting in this massive room. That room was underground. They would have meeting rooms that could hold thousands of people underground. Entire cities built underground. That's how you survive against overwhelming force. I like the, the one that's the giving power by bicycles. Yeah, the bicycle power, yeah. the first aid. Are we getting Yes. That's of that. Okay, guys, let me understand now. Let me show you how this works. Okay. So I'm going to do Vietnam this way. We're going to go through this. I'll give you all the X's and O's. And then what time we have left, I'm going to show you letters home. Letters home is basically the visual of all this. But keep in mind, letters home is 100% actual Vietnam footage. So what you're seeing is is the actual. So the more time we have for that, the more time. Right now we're we're in pretty good shape on that. Okay. I will probably, depending on how much time, do the test review after we finish tomorrow. No, the test is Thursday. No, that's okay. So okay. So the test is Thursday. So we'll finish tomorrow. No. So the the, the review probably will stay after school. Well, we'll see. Maybe I, it's not that much. But we'll see what we can do. You guys will understand. You want as much of this as you can get. This is for you. See, you're not putting short answer on this test, or are no, you? This one is. This one's four out of six. Okay. Okay. Um, so we're going to Pacification. Fighting the war. Okay. The average ground force is given two specific orders. Search and destroy, and pacification. What? Search and destroy, and pacification. Those are the two major orders given, number seven up there. Okay, search and destroy is pretty simple. Find the enemy and kill them. Why is that not so simple? Some of it. You can't find them. Why not? Because they're waiting to ambush you. Yeah, well, they're not wearing uniforms. The same guys during the day that are your average farmer <clears throat> maybe try to kill you at night. This isn't like the Nazis where they have a swastika on their arm. It's, it's, very, it's very much like the American Revolution. It wasn't always clear who, you know, the Ethan Allens of the world came out of the woods. And, you know, you don't know who's the good guy and who's the bad guy. This gets very, they do a very good job of explaining this in the movie. Now, that's pretty simple. 
Pacification is a little more complicated, but I'm going to run out of time. So, put a mark on pacification so I know that's where you are. We'll pick it up from there.